Which there we go. So this is it, right? This is our tech preview build. We're looking at it right now live. Yep, this is the uh, essentially the menu that you're going to hit as soon as you boot up. So um, you can see like the multiplayer and academy options there. Um, if you hit start, you can get into our main settings. And there's a few settings I think we want to we want to yeah, show let's off. Let's take a look. Like. I mean, no, I, I like settings. No one's ever seen these settings in detail before. So we'll just we'll kind of take a look here. So. Um, we want to make sure, obviously, players understand. And, like, first thing you should do if you're going to be in the tech preview this weekend, probably just kind of get acclimated, tweak your settings to your liking, just make sure that things are sort of the way you want them, if you will. So I think, you know, I'll just quickly scroll through. I'm not going to speak to every one of these. I think we'll be here all afternoon. But I think you're going to find a lot of um, sort of what you'd expect to find in, in some regards. Um, you know, hold the sprint if I want to do that. I can kind of really dial in my sensitivity and all that. I'm pretty casual, so I, I kind of tend to just run default in a lot of cases. I'm not afraid to admit that. <laughs> yeah, I think that I've never gotten into all the Zoom sensitivity settings, but... I'm just worried I would, get, I would get myself into a state where I would just never land a shot again. Or who knows, maybe I would suddenly sort of evolve to the next level. Um, now, keyboard and mouse players uh, on PC, uh, and also I believe console now supports uh, PC, uh, mouse and keyboard as well, excuse me. A um, couple things here they might want to look at that's pretty interesting. If we can get down to it is the fact that, you know, triple key binds. You, can, you have a lot of flexibility here in how you want to set up your keys. I, I want to give a shout out, you know, as all the work that happened over the last couple of years to update MCC and bring that to PC and then all the fantastic work by the pub team. You know, being able to have triple key binds was super important to the PC community. That was great feedback that we heard. And that's a good example of just one of taking those learnings and kind of that experience and bringing it over to the infinite side. Yeah, I think we owe a great debt to all the work that MCC and the publishing team has done with diving in, like, feet first into the PC environment and getting us ready for this. You know, I'll hover on this one for a minute because I'm pretty sure I haven't been able to do this before in a game. Have I been able to actually just straight up drop my weapon for a teammate before? Not that I know of. And honestly, it's been, it's been quite fun to use. Uh, especially when you're playing with like some less experienced players, if you can just secure rockets for them and then hand it over to them, you know, they get to play around with a power weapon that they might not normally have gotten. So dare we say maybe this is the end of betraying your teammates to take sniper? Yeah, now you just gotta extort them, I guess. Possibly. Cool, so a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, you know, this is something else that we, um, I think was mentioned in one of our employee spotlight blogs, but um, marking, this is also a new element to Halo games. Yeah, and I've actually been really happy with the marking system. So if you're on PC, it is super easy just to mark everyone you see, and the game rewards you for it. You actually get points. You get a mark assist if someone kills someone who you've marked and stacks with your normal assist points. And I believe there's a medal you can earn there is. for marking enough people who get killed. So I'll just kind of scroll through here quickly so we don't totally get inundated in settings, but it just goes on and on and on. So let me go over here to video as well. Something else I just kind of wanted to point out, which by the way, I do not, that is criminal for me to be on a, a FOV of only 70, but you know, we heard, I think this has always been something Halo fans have wanted. We, we know and everyone knows the FOV really does have a dynamic impact on your experience in terms of not only just your vision, but the sensation of movement and speed, all those things are greatly impacted. So Pretty awesome to me that on day one we already have a field of view slider, and this is going to be available on, I think, on multiple platforms. It's not a PC only feature. That's correct. Yeah. I mean, what's your preference? I, I kind of generally like to kick it up here, maybe in the 90 to 100 range. I mean, we can go what all the way up to 120 if we really wanted to. Yeah, uh, I usually like to kick it in 95 to 100. All right. Well, I'll, I'll split the difference. We'll go 95 there. Um, but yeah, just kind of go through here. Lots of different nuanced graphical settings to really allow people to custom tailor based on you know their own personal preferences, what's most important to them on their PC hardware. Um, if I didn't mention that, if it's not clear, we are playing on PC here currently. So, um, you know, you will not have the full breadth of all these options necessarily on every platform, um, but clearly for PC, it, it makes the most sense. I thought this is pretty cool too, being able to sort of opt in or opt out of something that we call speed lines. So when you're sprinting in the game, we have some cool visual effects that help sort of really convey that sense of, of increased speed. But if I don't like it, I can just turn it off. Yeah, I think the, the fact that we've got so many settings that are tailored so that you can fully immerse yourself, or if you're looking for a stripped down experience, if you don't want that, you can turn it off. Same thing goes, of course, lots of audio customization here. Um, want to make sure people are aware of like things like subtitles. You can turn those off and on if you want to. Um, I did want to call this out as well. I know you and I were talking earlier about this, but 
Just a, a little bit of a public service announcement for anyone playing this weekend in the tech preview. Um, by default, currently in this build, your mic is just set to full open, full hot. So some people might like that, some people may not. Personally, I was kind of caught by surprise when I was saying a bunch of stuff in the game and I thought it was private. So I just wanted to pass that, my learnings on to you so no one gets kind of caught maybe in a, in a precarious situation <laughs> there. Um, so yeah, a lot of different options here, including Spartan Chatter. We'll hear a little bit more of that when, when we roll some more footage. Um, and then the last thing I thought would be kind of cool to really point out, we've talked about this a little bit briefly in some of our blogs, but we have this new system that we're calling Friend Info, right? Which in order to really support and embrace our goals and our aspirations about leaning more into player expression and having a lot more cool ways to customize your own Spartan and your own Spartan journey, it just didn't really work anymore to force everyone into a default red or blue model, right? What? Right. And, and so by default, we have red and blue outlines, but for accessibility purposes, we know that various people can't see in certain shades. So we've got a wide array of colors that you can choose for both enemies and friends. And you can also customize uh, the folks in your fire team to be another unique color. Yeah, it is it is really flexible, really cool. I also personally being able like being able to sort of, if I want to go old school and display a full gamer tag above someone's head, I could do that. It also helps me sometimes when I'm personally just trying to register a friend from foe. Um, and then, you know, I should call this out. You'll see this in the in the UI menu here. The theater will not be included in the tech preview, so we won't have that experience. The theater is coming back, though. So, um, and, you know, event timeline is a brand new feature. We'll talk a little bit more about that later, but you could probably surmise what that might mean in the, in the context of the theater. Um, and this is pretty crazy, too. Weapon offsets. So people want to be able to move that stuff around, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I know, I know, I know people who like to get a, a slightly different gameplay experience based on some old school games where they have the weapon more centered, or some people like to just push it way off, or so far off that they hit their mic. Sorry about that. Yeah, I guess you know one of the predominant themes here is just trying to give players as many options as possible to really dial in the experience to suit their personal tastes, right? Yeah, I mean, it is just a set of menus, but I'm really looking forward to hearing what people think of these settings and the things that they can put together to customize it to exactly how they want to be. I want Halo to be like the comfiest chair in your house. I like that. All right, so let's back out of the settings. Something else I think we want to point out to participants in the tech previews to keep an eye on this weekend, the news feed. Wow, this is like next gen news. No, seriously. <laughs> um, this is just good to keep an eye on if you're playing in the tech preview. We will probably use this to convey updates over the course of the flight, critical information, if the playlist experience evolves, we'll let people know through here, right? And I think, Sam, you wanted to specifically call this one out in particular, right? Yeah, so we've got a notification for people on PC, especially if you're using the AMD GPU. You're going to want to make sure you update to the latest driver. It is a significant performance increase uh, for PC users on AMD GPUs. So please make sure you do that and make sure you check out the news for that kind of attention announcement. Awesome. Well, Sam, I think that's all I got for you today. Any final parting words or thoughts before we jump over and dig into some customization? No, I want to see the customization too. Thanks for having me. Cool. Thank you, Sam. We'll be right back in just a moment. We're going to be joined by Jerry Hook here, and we're going to talk about all the things you can do to customize your Spartan in the tech preview. Be right back in just a moment. <laughs> 